Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Dixon. I am back. Praise God, praise God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, it's real. It's real. Come on, somebody. The struggle is real, but so is the rewards. Come on, somebody. I ain't talking about all what I'm talking about reward. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm going to wait till y'all get back up in here. I'm going to read the go, go ahead and read the title again. Um, we're talking about the spirit of Judas is alive today and running rapid, especially in the church. I'm going to walk this thing out. So let me go ahead. I have three videos to do so point blank in the story. But let me tell y'all about the name of Judas. All right. So that's why I want to get back up on here. I like to have the right information, you know, because I have a lot of paperwork in front of me. Here, here it goes well, on the side as well. The name Judas is a boy's name from Greek origin means praised. So he didn't even honor his name, which meant praised. So basically, but his name is permanently shamed, shunned. All right. Also, it says that it means praise, but now hold on. The synonym is traitor. Oh my God. Everything is in a name. You want to know what your name stands for? I was doing a little um thing about my name, Deanna, is derived from Diana. We're not talking about the goddess, although they have that as well. But do you know what the other Hebrew warrior? Mm, so I fit it, right? So if you really want to know what a person is, all you got to do is call their name. Come on, somebody, and start do asking God who they are. But let me walk this thing out. God says, does, this is a thus said the Lord, in this last hour. Oh, let me slow it down. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Ain't this up to the extreme? Today is the 13th day of the fast. Praise God. I'm going to get back up on here and do a little video for that because I want to release a lot of you because I, I know this is heavy. You know, when you are in the midst of so-called their pagan holidays, plus it's stressful and all kind of stuff. So I'm going to get back on here. I want to stay focused on this. This is what's going on right now. I'm going to give you the characteristics of Judas. Number one, they will betray you. Dead in your face. What did he do? He kissed them. He said, you betray me with a kiss. So that means the second character is they have to be somebody close to you. Now, hold on. We're not talking about somebody you don't like. This is somebody that you do like. As a matter of fact, you have a soft spot for them. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Oh, I'm going somewhere with it. The third characteristic, they pretend. They pretend to like you and pretend to love you, but you see straight through it. I don't care how much they sit up there with that smile and that smirk. You see straight through them like, yeah, I see you. I see you. I know you don't like me. And, and truth be told, hallelujah. We're going to say hallelujah, right? You, you know what I really want to say. Those three. Number four, it has to be an insider. Because your outsider can't get close to you. So it has to be somebody close to you, family and a friend. I'm, or even a lover, a husband, or a spouse. Y'all better understand what I'm saying. This stuff real. People are dying because they're not understanding who to identify in this hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the only way you can identify people is by the spirit of God, by the wisdom of God, by the discernment of God. Y'all sitting up there just, oh, he fine. Or, or, or that's my friend. Let me tell you something. I listen to who God says you are. And if God says that you can't be trusted, then trust me, you can't be trusted. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they say. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let's keep going on. Jesus knew that Jesus had a, a heart and heart. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. It wasn't just about his betrayer. He was envious of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. That's the fourth characteristic. They will be very envious of you, which is actually close kin to what? Jealousy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You will always be able to identify your Judas, God says, because your Judas will hand you over to your to your to the people that's trying to kill you. Kill you spiritually, kill you physically, and kill your anointing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Don't you understand that there's dream killers? Let me tell you something. People have been assigned to annihilate who God have called you to be. Your destiny is, oh, come on, somebody. They're trying to kill your destiny, God says. Hallelujah. So God says, quit playing with Judas. Once you identify, this is going to be a short video, I promise you. God says, once you identify Judas, back up, Judas. Back up, Judas. Back up, Judas. God didn't say curse him out. God didn't say beat him up. God said, back him up. You don't hear what I'm saying. Stop allowing Judas to get close to you. Not in this hour, because God said it may be for your life. Come on, people of God. Come on, people of God. This is a serious message. This is not nothing to play with. Mothers, single ladies, quit letting Tom, Joe, and Harry near your babies. You have to have wisdom and discernment in this hour. Y'all can't be too hot to try in this hour. That's what's taking out half of the body of Christ right now. Truth be told, if you really want to know what's taking out, lust. I, I, I just, I, I'm so tired. 
loneliness is, is, is a spirit. But you're going to have to ask God to comfort you in your loneliness. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm saying something up in here. That's why these kids are getting murdered by boyfriends. Come on, somebody. Husbands, because y'all are not counting the cost. God says every time you meet somebody, I don't care who they are. Father God, show me their spirit. And then you have to act accordingly. If God said dismiss them, I don't care. And, and I'm going to tell you what's happening. But but they, they, they're, they're going to get better. Or, 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 or It's not really that bad. And then when something happens, you want to, oh, God. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. And it's going to be a quick video because that's it. That's it about Judas. When you identify it, God said, act accordingly. Get them about your life. Yeah, you might hurt a little bit, but don't, don't worry about it. And, and hold on. Don't worry. Another Judas will be back real soon. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're revolving doors. So you ain't got to worry. Another one coming. If you like Judas, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all God told me to say about this. He said, watch out for the Judas spirit. It is coming into the body of Christ to divide and conquer. Ooh, that sound, that sound familiar? But y'all, ooh, I got to go here. Thank you, Laura. God told me something earlier tonight. Y'all understand what Kanye West doing? He's a diversion. Walk with me. He's a diversion. They got something planning, y'all. They planning something. God told me that today. He said, Deanna, everybody talking about Kanye. He said, but they coming on the backside. Y'all better be on alert. This stuff is real. Y'all sitting up there looking at him. I don't even want to talk about him no more because I want to be watching. Oh, how they coming, God? How they coming? Because God ain't going to tell you everything, but he did say be watchful. Y'all sitting up there playing with people. Let them people play because one thing I've always noticed, and I'm not kidding, I never forget, and, and I've been watching this my whole life. This is what happened with plants. After they use you, then they kill you. Y'all ain't ready for me. I know it's going to be hard, but I'm telling you the truth. After they use you to do what they want you to do, then they're going to kill you. So you, you get up there and you keep doing what you're doing. Now you have to understand something. Anytime you come against a child of God, you already messed up. But because you scared of them people, because you're a coward. That's what I call plants. You're a coward. You're a straight up coward. I'm talking to every last plant out there. You're a coward. And guess what? You're going to get yours, coward. Because guess what? We're going to all die, but I'll be doggone if I die a coward. Ooh, I just said it. I'll never be a coward. Now, even an enemy, they couldn't get me to go against an enemy. I'd be like, nah, you got to find somebody else. I ain't doing that. Stand for something. Be a man and woman of God. Hallelujah. That's what they was back in the Christian days. That's why they were so powerful. That's why we could read about Moses and Joshua. Hallelujah. And Caleb. Because they were men and women of God. They weren't scared of the enemy. You know what they told the enemy? Do what you want to do to me. Hallelujah. And then if you really get like Christ, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I'm done. God bless y'all. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are.